What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brandy and you're watching The Glam Bell and today I have a big, big, big announcement. I just kind of go through this makeup look with you guys while I chat about my big news. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel if you are not already and make sure to hit the bell so that you're notified when I upload videos here on YouTube. And before we jump into this makeup look and my big news, I do want to say thank you so much to Dossier for partnering with me on a portion of today's video. Yes, you heard it right, Dossier. I cannot believe I'm saying this, but I've partnered with them like six times now and I've been saying the name wrong the entire time. So I feel like a complete dummy Dossier is what it's called. And I am obsessed with this brand. They take your favorite signature scents that you can find at retail stores for a lot of money and they give it to you for a fraction of the cost. Most of their perfumes and colognes cost anywhere from $29 to $39. Very affordable. You get a very good size. I think my all-time favorite from them has to be the Amber Saffron or Ambery Saffron scent to die for y'all. It's so, so good. I got a couple of colognes for my husband last month for Christmas and he loved both of them. So really happy about that. But this month we're back to me. This is the box that it comes in. It comes with a tiny little tester, which you test out. And if you don't like the scent, you can send it back and you get to keep the little tester and get a different perfume or cologne. Uh, but if you like the tester, then you keep the full size perfume and you can put the little tester in your purse. And it comes in so handy, but it also comes with this little card insert right here. And this tells you all about the perfume that you purchased. This particular one, the inspiration is YSL Libra Adu perfume. I probably butchered that. I'm sure I did. Wow, I love it. I've always loved YSL perfumes. And this one is called Floral Lavender, but it's inspired by YSL. This other one that I got this month is called Floral Musk, and the inspiration is Lancome Idol Eh De Perfume. Again, I know I'm butchering that. Don't make fun of me. Mm. And this smells really, really good too. I'm usually not a musk kind of girl, but I really, really like the scent of this. I think between these two, definitely the floral lavender is gonna be my favorite. I'm actually gonna put a little bit of this floral lavender on now. Oh, that smells good. That smells really, really good. If you have not tried Dossier's perfumes or colognes, definitely head over to their website. There's so many to choose from and I feel like they're constantly changing and adding more. I can't even keep up. Make sure that you check the description box below. I'll have a link to their website. Check them out. I love a good savings and this gives me the savings that I need. All right, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into this video. All right, so I'm starting with my brows already on because brows are boring and I already primed my eyelid with a little bit of concealer. And I'm gonna go in with this first, I think, Bling Boss Palette from the Morphe Vault. And I'm gonna go in with this dark shade right here on the lid. I really wanna kinda do like a pinkish, purplish, kind of smoky eye situation. I don't know. And I'm just gonna start packing that on the lid. And because I'm using such a dark color, that's why I wanted to do my foundation last today. So let's talk about my big news. The things that you think you're gonna do, you're not gonna do, and then the things that you don't think you're gonna do, you're gonna do. And that's just the way life is. And I've learned to stop saying never in my life because you never know what the Lord has for you. This last couple of years, I've just really tried to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. You guys already know I'm a very, very strong Christian. I can talk more about my faith on my channel too if you guys want. Like, I don't wanna scare you guys away. I know I've said that before, but I am like, you know, spirit filled and the whole bit. Okay, well, let me just tell you my, my big news first. And that is that I am competing in a pageant this year. And I know that may sound really weird and really foreign to a lot of you because you're like, what the heck? What does that even mean? Some of you may already know that I competed 10 years ago in 2011 I did the scariest thing of my life and that was compete in a pageant for the first time ever. 
Um, and if I told you guys that story, y'all would be blown away because it was such a, it was such a God thing. I felt like a fish out of water. I didn't know what I was doing, but I knew that God had me there for a reason. And I won. So clearly he had, he had me there for a specific purpose and plan, right? And it opened up so many doors. I went on to compete at Mrs. America, which is the national pageant for Mrs. You know, Mrs. Virginia America. And there was so many things that happened during that year um, that I held that title. So many open doors. And if I'm being completely honest, I would not have this YouTube channel right now if it hadn't been for me competing. I would have never gotten the courage to start my own YouTube channel had I not stepped out of my comfort zone and did that thing that scared the living crap out of me. The things that scare us the most are usually the things that God has us do to stretch us. We grow when we get out of our comfort zone and do something a little bit crazy, a little bit different. And as long as he is guiding the way, then you really can't go wrong, right? So that's what I did 10 years ago. I was able to share my testimony of what I went through, you know, as a child. And my platform was drunk driving awareness because I lost my dad to drinking and driving when I was nine years old. All that being said, when I gave up my title in 2012, really I gave it up at the beginning of 2013 because the pageant was postponed. So I held the title a little bit longer, but um, I said I would never, ever, ever compete again. That I was a one and done kind of gal. It was so out of my comfort zone to begin with. I had an amazing experience, but I would never compete again. And then in December of 2019, the Lord laid it on my heart to compete again. Um, and it wasn't like he laid this desire on my heart. He laid it on my heart as like, this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to compete again. And I, I uh, thought that I had lost my mind for a minute. I was like, where is this coming from? What's happening? Uh, this is not, this is not what my plan was. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go into this Alter Ego Daydream palette and I'm gonna go in with this color to add to the crease. When God says to do something, I try not, <laughs> I try not to question what he's doing or why he's doing it. Sometimes that's that's difficult, you know? So when he laid it on my heart in December of 2019 to compete again, I was like, Lord, what are you doing and why? I don't understand why you have me doing this. I feel like I'm not hearing you correctly. <laughs> and I basically argued with the Lord and told him I would have to have a sign <laughs> Uh, I would have to have some proof that this is exactly what I was supposed to be doing in order to actually, you know, bite the bullet and do it. And of course, when you ask for a sign, you better be ready to receive a sign, right? And that's what the Lord did. He was like, okay, you want a sign? I'm gonna give you signs after signs after signs after signs. In July of 2020, about six months after he had told me that I was supposed to compete again, he made it extremely evident that this was exactly what I was supposed to do. I tried not to hesitate and I went ahead and signed up to compete for the title of Mrs. Virginia United States. And if you don't come from the pageant world, I'm sure you're wondering like, hold on, didn't you say you already won the title of Mrs. Virginia? I was Mrs. Virginia America in 2011, and this is the Mrs. Virginia United States pageant. If you don't know anything about, about pageants, then you probably do at least know about Miss America and Miss USA. Those are two different pageant systems. And so for the Mrs., the married women, this is two different pageant systems, the America system and then the United States system. I filled out the application and was accepted um, into the competition 
and I hold the title of Mrs. Richmond United States now. So that is super exciting and super terrifying all in one. I have prayed over the last couple of years that the Lord would use me in ways that I'm not expecting. He also gave me a word last year that he was going to be doing a new thing, which the Bible, you know, the Bible talks about. And listen, 2020 was all about the year of new things, right? I mean, we were experience, experiencing all sorts of new things. But then for him to make it very evident that I was supposed to compete and that in July it was time for me to sign up in the middle of a pandemic for a pageant, like what in the world? I am not someone that, I, I don't care about accolades or titles or crowns or any of this stuff, which is why I was so out of my element when I competed for the title of Mrs. Um, Virginia America 10 years ago. It's just not me. I've never been one that, you know, wants to be in the, in the spotlight like that. I get very nervous. I get anxious. Um, but again, the Lord has been just growing me and stretching me in ways that only He can. And it's all for His glory. That's all I can say. It's if I was doing, I, if I was doing this in my flesh, I wouldn't be doing it. Period. But what I am passionate about is being led by the Lord and hearing His voice and being obedient to His calling. And so, this is a calling that He's put on my life. And um, what you know, what the Lord has taught me is that each one of us have a specific circle of influence that we can influence, right? And the people that you can influence, I can't. The people that I can influence, you can't because that's just how how it works. We all have different gifts and different abilities and different ways that the Lord wants to use us. And I know that, you know, I've had experience in the pageant world and and there's a lot of things that the Lord did in and through me when I held the title of Mrs. Virginia America 10 years ago. And it's really crazy. I didn't even know when I signed up to do this pageant that that it had been exactly 10 years since I had competed. So, and when I, you know, started to do a little bit of research, I realized that the number 10 biblically stands for testimony and completion. I feel like the Lord is saying what I started in you 10 years ago I'm going to complete in you 10 years later. When I think about it, I think I get overwhelmed and I get nervous and have all those, you know, butterflies in my stomach when I think about having to go through the interview process and competing in swimsuit. Oh my God, Lord help me at 41 years old, I'll be competing in swimsuit, evening gown and all these different things. But I know with God, all things are possible and I wouldn't be doing it if he wasn't guiding the steps and leading the way. So I have no fear. I'm at 100% peace about all of this. I'm gonna go in with this, the All Nighter Face Primer. Um, I actually have never used this before, so I'm excited to test this out today. I'm just excited to see what the Lord is going to do because I know that this was this was his plan, not mine. And I'm just I'm just trying to follow his call, you know? Just trying to follow his call. And I'm gonna go in with the Luminous Silk Foundation by Giorgio Armani. There's gonna be a lot of different ways that you guys will be able to help me in this journey. And I'll share more as the time comes. Um, make sure that you are following me on Instagram because I'll be sharing a lot of stuff there and what I'm doing with this title because again for me this is not this is not about you know wearing a sash and crown that's all fine and good and you know draws people and it looks pretty and all of that but I am about the purpose behind this. So I'm I'm so excited and I'm I'm really excited to share more with my audience and 
kind of take you guys on this journey with me. I'm gonna need all of the extra support and, you know, prayers that I can get. It's either you win or you learn and every single person that, you know, feels led to compete, they have a purpose in it and God has, has me here for a reason the same way that he has so many other girls compete for specific specific reasons and so i um i'm just walking in faith through all of this the lord was very clear in telling me that this was part of my ministry part of the way that he wants to use me and um and expand my my ministry field faith is an action verb which means you take you take your faith and you do something with that. And so I am putting my faith into action by stepping into something that scares me and makes me really nervous. But knowing that the Lord is in control of it all just gives me so much peace. And I know, I know that he's going to get the glory from all of this. You know what I mean? If you have any questions about like, what this is, what, you know, anything about pageants or anything, you can leave them in the comments. I'm happy to answer any questions you have because I know to someone that doesn't really know anything about the pageant world, this probably seems really foreign, you know? It's just another platform that the Lord is going to use me to be a light in this world. That's it. I mean, he literally just wants me to shine my light bright and this is this is just a platform that he is going to use me to do that and whether that means you know just at the local level and that there's one person to have an impact on them or if that means using me at the national level i don't know but whatever it is i'm completely surrendering my will to his i was going to share with you my my platform which is mental health awareness if you're already following me on instagram then you've probably already seen me post a lot about mental health awareness uh, i have partnered with an amazing nonprofit called runway to life i've modeled for them in their shows for like five years but i have come alongside of them and joined their board this year so that I can make an even greater impact and um, I am part of their spiritual warfare team. What we do is basically we minister to people that need, you know, that need deliverance for certain things. And we pray together and we intercede for people, for the community, for our nation and trying to be led by the Spirit of God. And I know that the Lord is moving so mightily within that organization. I call it a ministry. It's technically a nonprofit, but I call it a ministry because that's that's really what it is. This is a way that I am just saying, Lord, use me, use me how you see fit. I don't have to have it all figured out. I don't have to know what all those steps are gonna look like. All I have to know is what's the next step, Lord? What is the next step? He's already using me and using my story, my testimony to touch people's lives. So my platform is mental health awareness, but overcoming mental health issues by faith, because that was my story. When I was going through chronic illness for many years, I, who I had some of the darkest moments of my life during that time. And if it weren't for my faith, I would not be here. I absolutely would not be here. I know that 100%. I was able to overcome some of the deepest, darkest mental health struggles with depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts, all these things that many times we don't wanna talk about. Um, I was able to overcome those through my faith, with my faith. And so for me, that is what I wanna focus on with my platform. Something else that I've learned coming alongside of Runway to Life and their focus is on keeping the conversation going surrounding mental health and helping, you know, provide resources and things like that to help people that are struggling. Um, that 
when you go into the mental health world, they many times are missing the spiritual aspect. And when you go into the spiritual world, churches and things like that, they are missing the mental health aspect. And when these two worlds collide is when you can see long-term change. There's probably a better way to explain it. And maybe I'll talk about that in another video. But all I know is God can do miraculous things when we allow him to take the reins and we stop trying to do things in our own power in ourselves the lord can do more in one second than we could ever do in our entire lifetimes and i've seen that in my own life and that is where i have to where i have to walk from is my own story that i've had to walk out and that is where i have to share from is my own journey and my own story and that was my story was i was able to overcome those things my mental battles my mental struggles through faith. That's where I really want to focus my attention during my reign. Not just that, other things as well, but that is going to be my main focus. Just honestly, just making an impact on the world by being the light that God has set me out to be. Y'all, this pencil is so, so good. This is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Mesmerizing Maroon Metallic Pencil. It's actually a duo pencil. It's so good, it's so good, I love it. All right, I'm gonna quickly do underneath of my eyes and do a little bit of liner, lashes, and all of that. So I'm gonna kind of stop talking for a minute so that we can get through this really quickly. So here we go. Of course my battery died. Um, so I just had to replace my battery. So you guys missed my lashes and all of that, but basically this is this is what we are working with. I think it looks really nice. At first I was kind of like, how can I save this eye look? Cause it was looking so patchy, but I actually really, really love the way that it looks now. I think I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner to start off. And then I'm gonna go in with the monochrome moment in the shade She's Unapologetic by Patrick Ta. Just putting that right in the center and then just tapping that out. If you haven't tried these like lip topping glosses from Pixie, you gotta try them. They're so pretty. This one is in the shade Parfait. I love all of them. So I'm just gonna add that to the center. It just adds this beautiful iridescent glow. Oh, I love it. And then right at the cupids though. All right, so here is the finished look. What do you guys think? I really love the way that it ended up turning out. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it too. And I feel like my thoughts were all over the place in this video because they kind of were. This has all been kind of a whirlwind for me because I just finally announced it to my friends and family, even though I've been signed up to compete for like the last six months. Um, and with COVID, I'm still unsure of the state competition details. They're just kind of waiting for the national office to see like when things are gonna happen, how it's all gonna pan out, what it's gonna look like with COVID still going on. So if there's something that you have felt really led to do, but it scares the mess out of you, do it. Those are the moments in your life that you're truly going to grow and get better in areas. And when you face your fears, if you fail, the only option is to fail forward. You get better, you grow. That is my motto this year is do it afraid because I know there's going to be a lot of opportunities that come my way that are going to scare me but I'm gonna do them because I know that that is what the Lord wants to do this year is really prune me, grow me, stretch me, and make me an even better effective disciple for him. So that is where I am at in this journey. I'm so excited to bring you guys along with me. Again, make sure to let me know if you have any questions about the pageant or if you have any questions about this makeup look, I'm gonna leave all the details to the products that I used in the description box below. And I think that is it, you guys. I love you guys so, so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.